Hello there. I'm B. Luke. And I'm Amy. Of Fresh Death Comics. And we have partnered with Fat Cat Comics to bring you The Rundown. Uh, This is the DC Comics edition. We're going to be telling you what books are coming out this week. Uh, Let's start out with my pick of the week. I didn't think I would ever pick this. But Batman (laughs) and Scooby-Doo Adventures number four. Though this is a limited series, it's just a self-contained story and really about the loss of Velma's goldfish. So if you are a parent who are trying to talk to your child about a loss of a pet, this is the perfect book. Plus it's Scooby-Doo, a little bit of Batman, but it's awesome. Plus there's so many hot dogs in this book. (laughs) So many hot dogs. That looks cute. I need to check it out. But my pick for the week is Wonder Woman 795. Uh, we get Wonder Girl in here with their fight with Eros, uh, and we learn a little bit more, a backstory about Diana and a god from the past. What god do we know? I'm not telling. You gotta read it. Oh, boy. All right. So, the Flash One Minute War is here. Uh, it starts out as a nice little Flash story. Like, the whole Flash family's there. Like, we get so many Flashes in this book. It's great. Then the One Minute War happens. There are casualties in this. You do not want to miss this book. Oh, I don't want to spoil it, but someone may have died. Someone may have died. All right, and uh, up next, I got the new Rick and Morty versus Cthulhu, uh, a summer heavy story. Uh, but after they get thrown in jail, are they going to be able to get out? What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Morty, what are we going to do? What, what's going on, Rick? If you're a fan of. Tom King, we have a Watchmen type book out here. This book is so many layers with so many characters. I can't see Jack Ryder other than Tucker Carlson in this. So every time I'm reading it, that's all I'm thinking about. But this is a pretty amazing book of just interlining different things, connecting dots. Like this is a true mystery book. And mm-hmm. I haven't seen this in DC in quite a while. Very noir like. Right? Yeah. All right, up next, I got Batman and the Joker, the deadly duo. Uh, uh, so Mark Silvestri is the writer and artist of this mini series, and it shows why he is the best in the business. Um, though, if I'm being honest, there's very little Joker in this. There's so. so little Joker. It was mostly Batman. Like, come on, Silvestri. Yeah, come on. All right, for you, the Lazarus Planet. Alpha issues out. If you've been following Batman in this whole Lazarus event, you're just going to be on this nonstop adventure because this is very little talking, all action of what's been going on across the whole universe with this Lazarus event, with this magical energy taking over. Plus, there's a bonus Monkey Prince story. So if you're a fan of Monkey Prince, you get a little behind the scenes like history lesson on him, which is pretty cool. All right, up next, I am Batman number 17. The truth of Jace's mother is revealed and a new villain shows up and nobody will want to miss it. Just saying, nobody will want to miss it. Nobody. Nobody. All right. We also have a brand new number one, The Batman Adventures. If you guys are a fan of the TV show and be keeping up with this um, series of comics, they jump right into it from right when season two ended into this whole new adventure. And it is, woo, it is a ride. (laughs) You get so many characters introduced. All right, up next we got issue number 10 of The Human Target. Christopher Chance only has hours to find out who is trying to kill him before he drops dead himself. I mean, the series is starting to wrap up soon. It's only a 12-issue arc, so... Will he find it? Will he find out? That's the question. Will he? I don't know. Now, Batman Urban Legends has wrapped up. This is the last and final issue. It's a whole bunch of Batman stories compiled into one, and they're just different mini-stories, and they're finally coming to an end. Uh, If you're a fan of Nightwing, definitely take a look. I think there's more Nightwing than Batman in here. (laughs) But also, if you're a fan of Court of Owls, I definitely would take a look at it because there there is some Court of Owls stuff in here that I think as fans you're going to want to not miss out on. Ooh, okay. I might have to take another look at that one. Uh, finally, for me, we got Wildcats number six. It's a Matthew Rosenberg's Wildcats, or well, sorry, Wildcats number three. Matthew Rosenberg's Wildcats number three. Uh, the Hero Corporation has introduced their new group of heroes to save the world. Are they going to do it? Will they? Won't no, they? Knowing Matthew Rosenberg, they probably won't. It's going to be a whole mess. <laughs> he likes to make these heroes, and then just they all have kind of problems, and they're just. It's it's really great what he does with the, his books. <laughs> 
right, and then all right, and then last for me, or the last book coming out this week is Batman Incorporated number four. Uh, Ghostmaker is kind of in a predicament. Uh, he's gonna have to fight for his life, kind of thing. So you don't, if you're a fan of Ghostmaker, you don't want to miss out on this book. Now switching over to some reprints, we have Harley Quinn number twenty four. Stephanie Phillips is writing this. I mean, I love Stephanie Phillips. So if you don't have it already, pick it up. Plus, that cover for it is pretty cool. Like, that. yeah, it's super cool. We love a design variant here at Fresh to Death. In, in Marvel, they usually charge you like ten bucks for that. So, oh, yeah. Now that you know, that's a perfect plan to pick up. Oh yeah, it's awesome. If you missed it the first time, we have it again. Swamp Thing Green Hell is back with a second printing, and this book is just a lot of fun. If you like Constantine and Swamp Thing. It's everything you ever wanted. Who doesn't wanted. love Constantine? And it's, it's it's a horror. It came out in October for the horror stuff, and it, it, it worked. It worked. And last but not least, we have uh, the facsimile cover, The Flash. 123. And it is well, when Jay Garrett meets Barry Allen. It's a classic. Uh, we, you've probably seen this cover so many times, so if you want to own it, now you can without paying upwards to like so much money boatloads of money of dollars. so here it is uh, you guys can grab it today and you can grab all these books at Fat Cat Comics thank you so much for being partners with us and we'll see you guys tomorrow with Marvels woo